obviously uh, you don't want to be sitting here right now. You guys would would rather be playing, but uh, you know, figure just get a couple of thoughts of yours on the season uh, for you uh, individually. You know, pretty big year. Um, you know, when you look back, and, and we kind of talked about it a little bit, the consistency that that you were able to bring seemed like that was something where um, you're able to thrive in in the environment that you were in. Yeah, I, um, I thought I did a decent job of being consistent. Uh, but I'm, I'm that type of person that always wants to get more. <laughs> so, uh, you know, obviously not happy how the season ended with us with us losing in two games. And uh, I thought I could have brought could have brought even more. And, uh, you know, I'm never satisfied, especially when, when we lose like that. So uh, in, a, in a few weeks, I'm, I'm probably going to look back and be, be proud of myself uh, uh, that I could stay healthy and, uh, you know, score some goals and be a leader on the team. Uh, but, you know, never satisfied and always want more. When you look back at, you know, down the stretch and into the playoffs, I mean, what do you think that the team could have done better that didn't go your way or, you know, that if you could change anything right now, is there something you would point to? Uh, in those two playoffs games, I think we did everything right. I think we played our arguably our two best games of the year. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we just... We should have started that a little earlier. Uh, we didn't have a really good momentum coming into the playoffs. Uh, that's a key factor to, you know, feeling good coming in, be confident, be cocky coming into to some big games. Uh, so, you know, we could have put on that better for sure. Uh, we lost a lot of games uh, through the end of the year. Uh, confidence wasn't, wasn't really good. So uh, if I could change something, you know, play with that swagger a little earlier in the year and, you know, we were just so focused and so structured in those two playoff games and I'm proud of that and hopefully to next year the guys that are here can 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 take that with them those two last games and hopefully start to play like that what was it like playing with TJ all year I mean he obviously you talk about you know bringing it every day and he's someone who clearly has that uh, and, and wants to win. So what was it like uh, kind of being out there with all those minutes with him? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, I, I love TJ. He's, he's a great teammate and a great hockey player, a great friend. Uh, he competes super, super hard every day, you practice games. You know, he, he, he's just like me. He gets frustrated when he doesn't go his way. And he has super, super high expectations on his teammates. Uh, so that's an environment I really like. Uh, I think he, he did a really good job as a captain, you know, having everyone accountable and, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to not compete when, when the captain competes every day. So, um, you know, great teammate and great player and I hopefully get to play some more games with him here in the future. When you uh, look at your off season, um, what are some of the things that you usually like to do? Where are you usually train and uh, what is anything changing for this year? No, nothing's changing. I'm gonna go back to Sweden, train there. Um, me and uh, Mo uh, working out with the same guy for the last few summers here. So you know, it's it's working well, and uh, hopefully go on a little vacation here somewhere in Europe, and uh, then get to work again and prepare for for next year. But you know, just like to hang around in, in my hometown and you know be on the ocean and be with my friends. My my parents has a house by the water up in Sweden so I'd um, like to hang out there and uh, you know take it easy. Yeah I'm sure that's pretty relaxing I mean how long do you usually try to take uh, you know maybe this year ends a little bit early does that mean you can take a little more time or are you going to try to start training a little earlier? Uh, probably give it four weeks or something until I start training but uh, I, I can't sit still that's my that's my thing so I, I got to play some tennis or or, uh, or go shoot some pucks or something I can't sit still. In, for four weeks that's impossible so you know play some soccer play some tennis and uh, uh shoot some pucks and be ready to go again tj mentioned that you know he was proud of the group as a whole as far as yes the, the wins weren't there but everybody being close off the ice i mean mm -hmm. uh for, from your perspective you know what was that like and you know how how close was this group yeah it was a really close group it's one of the closest i've been a part of actually it was a great group uh we had so much fun off the ice and it was a great group and I thought we had something going there in the playoffs. That's why it stings a little extra when, uh, when you know, when you lose with a group like this. Uh, but hopefully uh, a lot of 
a lot of guys are sticking around for next year and, and can repeat it, you know, because I think there's more, more to come for, for all the guys in there.